the nervous system. What is the central nervous system made up of? Well, the central nervous system consists of the brain, nerves and the spinal cord. What you can currently see on the screen is a neuron. Now, what are neurons? Neurons are specialized cells. They are specialized by having long extensions which are used to carry impulses. Neurons carry impulses which allows parts of your body to communicate when a stimulus is detected by the receptor cells. The traveling of these impulses is called neurotransmission. There are three different types of neurons, relay, motor and the sensory. The neuron currently on the screen is a sensory neuron. The function of the sensory neuron is to carry impulses from the receptor cells to the central nervous system. The relay and the motor. Their difference from the sensory neuron is that they do not have a dendron and their dendrites is connected to the cell body. The relay neuron connects the motor and the sensory neuron and is found in the spinal cord. It is also used in the reflex arc and we'll talk about that later in the video. The motor neuron also looks similar to the relay neuron. They carry impulses to the effectors, which are the muscles. When a stimulus is detected, the effectors give a response. A neuron has many different sections. An impulse is received from the dendrites, it travels along the dendron and the axon and it's passed on to the neighboring neuron via the ax axon terminals. You may be wondering what are the orange circles? Well those are the myelin sheath. The myelin sheath, the myelin sheath is made up of fat and it plays a big role in neurotransmission. What do the myelin sheath do? The myelin sheath insulate a neuron from the surrounding, therefore the impulse does not lose energy. They also speed up neurotransmission as the impulse jumps from the gaps in between the myelin sheath. A neuron meets the following neuron at a synapse. The synapse is a gap between two neurons and when the impulse reaches an axon terminal, a neurotransmitter substance is released. This neurotransmitter substance is detected by the dendrites of the following neuron and causes new impulses to be generated. This keeps the energy of the impulses high, however, it slows down neurotransmission. The reflex arc. The reflex arc may be one of the most important systems in the body as it saves us by reducing the time of thinking at very dangerous situations. Reflex actions are extremely quick and they are used to protect the body. The neuron pathways are called the reflex arc and they bypass parts of the brain required to process information so that they can speed up neurotransmission and protect us from very dangerous situations. On this example, as we can see, if the person spends time on thinking, then their finger will burn. Therefore, the reflex arc will be very important in this situation. Let's go through this example in detail to summarize what we learned. In this example, the fire acts as the stimulus, and the receptors for pain in the skin cause impulses to be transmitted in a sensory neuron. Then the impulses from the sensory neuron are passed down to the relay neuron in the spinal cord, obviously via the synapses. As we can see, the relay neuron connects the sensory neuron to the motor neuron, and the impulse is therefore now transferred from the relay neuron into the motor neuron. Impulses from the motor neuron pass into the muscle cells, which are the effectors via synapses. The muscles then quickly move the part of the body away from the source of pain. As we saw, this process did not require thinking, and it was a faster way of neurotransmission thanks to the reflex arc. Therefore, in this example, we can see the importance of reflex arc.
Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.